Now that you have your crystals, you're going to be using vacuum filtration to separate them out. Make sure that you set up your vacuum filtration in the same way you've done in weeks past, making sure everything is clamped and held on tight. Now, with your vacuum, vacuum filtration turned on, you want to pour the crystals into the center of the into the center of the Buckner funnel. Once you have complete transfer, you'll be using cool DI water to wash the crystals. Making sure that you're getting all of the crystals from the inside of the flask, from the inside of the beaker. Now you want to, before you pour the cool DI water with the remaining crystals, you need to turn off the filter, the vacuum, turn off the vacuum, and then pour the cool DI water again into the center of the Buckner funnel. You will be doing this three times. Once you have Pour the cooled DI water into the Buckner funnel. You will then swirl the crystals around in the DI water and then turn on the vacuum. You'll be doing this three times, as I said before, to make sure that you're removing the acidity from the crystals. You also want to make sure that you have a complete transfer of the crystals from the beaker. After you've done it three times, you'll be then be testing the crystals with litmus paper to make sure that the, that the pH is near neutral, about five or six. Then, you will wash your crystals once using five milliliters of ice cold methanol that you've been cooling since the beginning. To check whether or not the pH of your wash water is near neutral, pH five or six, Take a pipette and get some of your wash water out and test it with a bit of the litmus paper. As you can see, the litmus paper shows that the pH is near neutral. Thus, we can continue and wash your product with the ice cold methanol that you've been drying or cooling since the beginning. Now, make sure that you turn off your vacuum, pour the methanol, ice cold methanol, into the Buckner funnel and use your glass rod to crush up the bigger particles into smaller particles, making sure that everything is washed. Once you finish, you will turn on the vacuum again and let the vacuum pull through air for about two to three minutes to dry your crude product. Make sure at this point you weigh your product. Once you have removed your crude product, you'll be recrystallizing it in hot methanol. The amount of methanol you use will be dependent upon how many crystals you have gotten to this point. So here we've weighed our crude product out. Now you'll be doing a recrystallization in hot methanol. How much methanol you need to dissolve your product depends on the amount of product you have. Remember to look through your lab procedure from experiment number one to make sure that you know how to do a recrystallization.